Hello, Bio 107 students. Welcome to Spring 2022. I'm Professor Frenetovich, and I am your lecture and lab instructor for this course. So the lecture and lab that you have signed up for is asynchronous, fully online. So we do not have any meeting times on Zoom, um, and the work can be done at your own convenience. Um, please pay attention to due dates. Uh, but and follow along on Moodle. You'll want to check Moodle a, a couple times a week, maybe more than that, at least twice, um, to see what is going on with the class. I wanted to walk you through our Moodle sites uh, right now because um, what you will see will be changing a little bit as we go, but there are some uh, very important things to notice. So you will have a separate site for lecture and lab. Um, and I apologize if that is inconvenient for you. Uh, it makes connecting to the textbook for both of those two things um, easier and grades get transferred in a better way. Anyway, that's behind the scenes. Uh, this is the lecture um, Moodle site. And once I publish this video, you're gonna see the video right here. Course announcements should go directly to your HCC email. This is where I put um, reminders about work and important announcements for the class. So you should check your email for that, but if you're on the Moodle site, you might be interested in looking through there. There's a community help forum. I'll get back to the syllabus in a second. The community help forum is designed for students to interact with each other. I don't check it that much. So if you have a question for me, send it through email. And my email is right up here. My phone number is here as well. This is all in the syllabus too, um, but that's my office phone number and I'm really not here that often. I'm in my office now, but this is um, will be mostly from home for me. Please check the technology requirements for class. It's important that you have a laptop or a desktop computer for this course. A tablet and, or a phone will not be adequate. Um, you're going to need to have a way to record yourself for a proctored exams. Um, so review that. Um, you're going to need Chrome as an internet browser, and you'll be downloading Proctorio, which is our proctoring software. I have a list of study guide objectives for Bio 107 here, and additional materials for our remote labs. Um, many of the labs that we do will be virtual online labs, but many also will have you doing some hands-on stuff at home, and that should be pretty fun. Every student in this class will get a free microscope kit, so you will learn how to use a microscope at home with instruction from me. Um, and then there are some other things like celery that you'll need to have. Um, you'll need to have some water and some hydrogen peroxide. So take a look at that list and let me know if it is um, expensive for you. I can help with that if you need to, if you need it. I also have a letter about late work here. And it's important that students turn work in on time I know this is a tough time for everybody, uh, but we're all in this together and I wanna work with you as much as possible, uh, but please keep up with the work. I'll give you at least a week, usually about a week to complete assignments. So um, keep an eye on that. I just opened a helpful resources tab with some websites with metric system websites, uh, podcasts, interactive videos, Neil deGrasse Tyson talking about his experiences as a scientist. Um, and if you don't have the textbook, you want to start reading, this is a good place to go. I'm scrolling back up to show you the syllabus. And here it is for the lecture. Um, I have on here my office hours. I have online office hours Wednesday and Thursday from 11 to 12, and those are on Google Hangouts. So that's an instant messaging part of Gmail, your HCC email, and you can send me messages. If you want to set up a Zoom meeting or um, 
something similar, even a Google Meet for an office hour, I'm happy to do that. I also have on-campus office hours on Friday from 10 to 11. So this course is a rigorous course. It's for bio majors and those going into the healthcare field. You'll need a C grade or better to be eligible to take anatomy and physiology one. Um, many students who take this course are either going to that direction or taking bio 108 um, if they're a bio major. So if you are a liberal arts major um, and you're in this class, you might wanna contact me and talk about your options. It's fine if you're here but it might be more than you need. Okay, the textbook is listed here. And I apologize that the bookstore had the wrong information for the textbook last week. It's there and they have it. So you can buy your textbook through the HCC bookstore website. You can come to campus or you could even buy it at the publisher website, which is McGraw-Hill. Um, and you can get a free pass for the website, for the textbook website, um, if you would like. And to do that, you just go to McGraw-Hill and you could get two weeks um, like as a free sample. And then once you get your textbook code from the bookstore that shows that you purchased it, all of your work can be transferred into your account. So it's available now, even if you don't have the code. The important thing is the Connect Access. So that is the online platform that McGraw-Hill uses. Um, again, that's our textbook publisher. And in there, you'll see the textbook and the assignments and the virtual labs for Bio 107. I have our objectives listed, and I want you to take a look at these on your own time. The grade for this class will be a combination of the lecture and lab grade, but for lecture, you'll be seeing question sets and assignments, and those will be 40% of your lecture grade. Um, see that I don't accept late assignments or quizzes for any reason. Exams are 60% of your lecture grade, and they're online and proctored, like I said, with proctorio. There are no makeup exams. They must be done in the given time period. Um, if you're nervous about using Proctorio, you've never used it before, we will have practice with it and I'll be posting a video showing you how to use it. When you submit assignments, I have this blurb here. Um, assignments uh, get submitted on Moodle. You'll turn everything in on there. and Make sure that you've uh, uploaded the correct file. Sometimes students will upload a blank document into Moodle for a submission. Make sure it's right when you turn it in. Attendance is important even for an online class. It's important that you log in at least twice a week and check the work and participate. Um, I take attendance by seeing how you participate in the online section of online material of the course. So if I see inactivity for two weeks or more, I will be contacting you and asking what's going on. I am happy to help you anytime. I love talking about biology. I love answering questions about biology and I'm pretty quick to respond. Um, now that we're starting the semester, I am here and I try to answer emails as quickly as possible. I know that some of you plan just a short amount of time to get your work done. And if you have a question in that time, you want it answered. I get that. So I try to do my best in answering in a timely manner. How to succeed in this course? This is a challenging course. We will have a supplemental instructor. Her name is Ashley and you'll be getting an email from her soon. Um, I definitely recommend uh, contacting her and going to the sessions with her. She will help you. She's a great facilitator in getting students to work together and solving their problems and figuring out the material. She's taken this course before and knows what it's all about. Um, and I am here to answer your questions as well. There's also the CAP Center on campus and online that has tutoring. Um, it's available, it's free. I encourage you to use it. And I encourage you to look at everything on the Moodle site. Even if it says optional, do it. It's all there to help you with the material. And if you want more practice, send me an email. I have 
lots of practice assignments. At HCC, we're committed to diversity, equity, and inclusion, and everybody should be respectful to everybody else in class. Um, you can see the statement here. If you have an accessibility accommodation through our Office of Disability and Deaf Services, please send it to me as soon as possible so that we can work together to make your learning experience effective. Um, lastly, on my syllabus, I have a note about academic integrity. I don't accept cheating in this class, and I'll be posting more about that when we get into proctorio exams. Um, everything should be in your own words unless otherwise stated in an assignment, and uh, exams are closed book and closed note. I have a schedule here for bio. Um, it's a pretty broad schedule showing our units, our, when things are due in our unit, and when exams will be. So back on the Moodle page, here we have our resources, and this is hidden right now down here, unit one, but it will be open very soon. I'm going to skip over to our lab page. And here is what you'll see for lab. And we have the same things, the syllabus, the lab activities and schedule. Check out everything on this page. I hope that helps you all. Um, I really look forward to getting to know you. Uh, please send me your mailing address. I sent out a Google form a little while ago asking for those, and that's so you can get that microscope kit. It's for free and you get to keep it. So make sure to send that in so you'll have it for the labs that we need. Okay. Um, oh, one more thing. I've gotten many emails about the textbook and how to sign into our Connect account. You'll see this little puzzle piece icon and click here to go to our class page for the text. It's also for virtual labs. So that is where you click and it will take you to our section in Connect where you will insert your code. Um, and then that will be our, our page. So it's all set up now and this is available right now. I want you to try it out um, by having this little puzzle piece icon and going to Connect through the Moodle site, it will connect your grades. So everything you do in Connect will show up in Moodle for me and I'll know that you did it. That's the, the right way to do it. Okay, uh, good luck everybody and can't wait to see you online.